Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com, and today we are going to do the unboxing and quick hands-on overview of the Huawei SN G510. Here we have the device with us with the retail package. Uh, this is the exact retail package which you will see in Indian market, and this is how it looks. So as you can see, these are the things which come within the package. You have a universal USB wall charger, the micro USB cable, as you can see. Uh, you also get these headphones which are standard ear headphones and the build is quite nice we will tell you about the sound quality from these headphones and you also have a unit a mic module with a button to pick the calls you have a hole here for the mic and we have the device and the battery we have already inserted the battery inside the device the battery is 1700 milliampere hour all keep all these things aside and let's talk about the phone now now if we take a quick look over the phone we have touch capacitive buttons at the bottom and then you have the earpiece over here you have some proximity sensors over here and the front camera here you have the 5 megapixel back camera with an LED flash here you have a hole for noise cancellation this is the secondary mic for noise cancellation and video chat here you have the loudspeaker the primary mic is over here and on this side you have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging you have the volume rocker on the left side and above the volume rocker you have the power and sleep key uh, the device has got a matte finish back cover which has some texturized design over here so it will give you a nice grip into your hand the form factor of this device is pretty good you can easily hold the device in one of your hand without the build quality of this device is pretty nice you have a nice shining lining as you can see on the edges of the phone which gives it a good look basically so talking about the build quality the build quality of this device is pretty good as well as the design of the device is quite nice it is not very thick at all it is pretty much slim and pretty light as well as far as the hardware of this device is concerned it has got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor which is a cortex a9 processor and you get adreno 203 gpu which is in there in device uh, the sensors we have is the accelerometer sensor the proximity sensor and then you have a 5 megapixel camera at the back and the secondary camera is a vg camera which is over here which is a fixed focus camera you have 4 GB of internal memory and we will tell you how much of that is actually available. As far as the RAM is concerned, you have 512 MB of RAM. You can see this is how the lock screen looks like. You have the option to go to the messages directly from here. You can go to the phone dialer from here and you can drag it upward or downwards to actually unlock the device. So the device is unlocked and it is running a custom UI uh, designed by Huawei. Just like uh, they have done it for their previous phones as well and this is how the ui looks like you have a nice animation when you go across different home screens and let me just show you the home screen so you have maximum nine home screens on this device and you can also delete them from here only and you can set any specific screen as your home screen let me set this one and let me just go back so the ui is pretty responsive and pretty sleek now as far as the resolution of the display is concerned you have 480 into 854 pixels resolution on this device which is spread across 4.5 inch of display as you can see so this device has a pretty big display and it gives you a pixel density of around 218 pixels per inch uh, you have IPS LCD display uh, with a capacitive touch screen as you can see and the viewing angles are pretty good but they are not very wide as you can see you can easily notice the color fading if you see it from this angle as you can see and the weight of the device is 150 gram which is again fairly light uh, and you do have support for micro SD card to expand the storage of this device you have you get 4 GB of internal memory and so let's take a look over the setting first of all to show you the internal memory and how much of that is actually available so under storage you have 4 GB of total storage out of which around 2.17 is reserved by internal storage and in the internal storage for the apps you get 0.98 GB as you can see for the apps and rest of it you can use it for storing pictures, videos, music, ringtone, whatever you have in terms of the file. 
So the version of Android is 4.1.1 which is Jelly Bean as you can see. You have 512 MB of RAM and out of which around 154 MB of RAM is free. And the touch screen is as responsive as you see on other Android phones in this price segment. Let's take a look over the browser. So it has loaded our website in the mobile phone format and kinetic scrolling is pretty smooth as you can see. Page to zoom is also pretty fluid. Panning is working pretty smooth as well and double tap to zoom is quite fast as well. So let's see whether this device is capable of playing videos within the web page. So let's try playing this video and as you can see the video is right now playing inside the web page. There is no other application which is being opened. So let's let me try to rotate the display. So the browser rotates the display and the video is playing within the browser without any problem I can see. And this is how the camera UI looks like. Let's take a photo with the camera UI and let's take a photo with the so this is a photo which we have taken right now in indoor light and the photo is pretty good as you can see the details in the photo are quite clear and crisp as well as the colors in the photos are pretty good as you can compare it with the exact real object over there and we will also come up with a detailed camera review let me show you some camera settings so here we have all the camera settings you can adjust the ISO you can also turn on the review and then you can also define the picture quality over here as you can see and you can also have a grid a GPS tagging as well on this device while taking a photo let me just go and check out the video settings as far as the video is concerned you can only record video uh, from the back camera uh, with this particular resolution you cannot record high definition videos check out whether the Google now works whether in New Delhi so google now also works on this device that's all from us right now regarding the quick unboxing and detailed overview of huawei sn g510 we will come up with a detailed camera review of the, for this device a benchmark review a gaming review as well as a full detailed review in which we'll be talk about all the features of this device do let us know if you have any specific questions for this device uh, we would love to help you you can leave them in the comment section below you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below or you can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.